Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review of the SEO Spyglass tool, which is part of the SEO Power Suite um, series of tools. Now, um, first thing I wanted to mention is I do have other videos, depending on where you're watching this, it may be on the same page or on YouTube. I've got other videos covering the other three tools as part of the SEO Power Suite package. In this video, I'm gonna cover the SEO Spyglass, just talk a little bit about that. Um, I've already logged into the tool, but actually let's jump over. I'm going to bring up the actual sales page for it. Um, I've already got it loaded up here. Um, just wanted to show you some of the features and um, mention, you know, what's kind of included in the tool. So pretty much what this tool allows you to do is you throw in a website and it's going to get you um, a full analysis of like backlinks and other data that you can pull uh, from like your Google Analytics and your Google Search Console. So this is some really cool integrations that you have. Um, you know, they kind of mention here an integration you won't find with any other backlink checker. And you know, one of the biggest things I would say right off the bat about this is that if you decide to go with the enterprise or pro version, then you have the capability of being able to get backlink data without necessarily paying a large hefty monthly fee like you would with a lot of these other backlink checking tools. Um, you can see here they've got stuff anti penguin link audit and cleanup. So you could go through and find stuff that might be like risky or look like it's, you know, um, spammy, things like that. So they give you some sort of penalty risk metric based on the domain that you've got your backlinks from. So that's really cool feature. I'm going to give you an idea of if there's anything that's going to cause any problems. You've also got some analytical data that you can look at in terms of, you know, how powerful your website's doing, um, linking domains, different anchor text ratios, things like that. So you have all that stuff that you can basically learn from. And you can even look at competitor data so you can see how your competitors are doing, get their link profile data and um, figure out both their strengths and weaknesses, look up their links, you know, kind of find ways to go out there and discover other websites where maybe you can get some links for your website. So it's an extremely powerful tool. Um, they even have here real time link checks so they can, you know, if something drops or goes missing, then this is a tool that's going to help you discover that. And you also have reporting. So if you're going to be utilizing this for clients, you have full capability to get reports on everything that you're doing and you can white label it to your own brand. So let me jump in and I'll actually show you. Uh, let's see. I've already got one here for a website. I had run this on a while back. Uh, Perfect comfort. So you can see just right off the summary, I've got like a um, general idea of do follow backlinks, do follow domains, um, different IP address, C blocks. Backlink progress, if I had rerun this, this was a while back I ran this, but if I reran it, it would give me kind of a progress chart of if there's things changing, going up or down, um, what countries I'm getting links from, things like that, different anchor text ratios. So here you can see a lot of brand name stuff like visit website or perfect comfort, um, www dot, you know, stuff like that. And then you get a little anchor text cloud. And the great thing about this is a lot of this can be customized. You can do this through a report, but let's get to that later. Um, if I go to the backlinks tab, I can really drill down and see, you know, a lot of this is an actual local business that does um, heating and cooling. So they've got a lot of like business listings or, you know, here's like an actual manufacturer and you can see exactly where they're getting these links from the anchor text that was used. And you could even dig in deeper and get things like um, social media stuff, Facebook likes, you know, things like that. Um, you also have these other tabs so you can learn even more. You can get like different details about the backlinks, um, whether or not they're linking back. If there's any risks, you know, so if I reran this, I could find out if there's any risks coming from these. You can go in and manually calculate later once you've sort of, you know, started to update a lot of this. Um, if you're getting backlinks from any specific home pages, that would be able to be tracked here. Blogs, forums, link directories, and they even give you some traffic uh, metrics. If you link this up to your Google Analytics, you could see if you're getting any traffic from those links. So you do have a lot of different um, options here. And this is something that, you know, can be extremely powerful if you're looking to find out, you know, more information about what's going on with a particular site and the backlink data. You've also got a linking domains tab here. Um, you can see how many backlinks the actual IP address. And you've also got anchor text information. Here's a domain comparison. So if I wanted to throw in other domains, maybe to throw in like the top three competitors, I could ask this company like, hey, who do you consider your competitors? I could throw them in here and then I could compare that data from here. Um, I'm not gonna do this now because it would probably take a while, but um, you know, generally you're gonna get similar information. You'll just get a chart to be able to compare. Um, this has even more features like potential 
opportunities. Maybe once you actually check those competitors, you could check for opportunities with link intersection. And then domain strength, um, this is gonna be more of a general breakdown. Most of the SEO PowerSuite tools have this built in. So it's just something in each of the software tools. And then under reports, um, this is one of the best parts of all the SEO PowerSuite tools is you can customize everything. So if you wanted to go in and um, you know specifically take out things you wanted to do, maybe just like backlink details, do maybe just the comparison, you can pretty much do anything you want. Um, if I go in here, let me see, I can actually hit this edit button and everything is broken down over here on the left sidebar. So if I don't wanna show a specific piece, I could go in and edit this widget and you could basically remove anything you want. You know, I could go in here and specifically even change around the table name. I could call it something else. Um, you have the capability to edit as much as you want. So uh, if you don't want to include something, maybe you, you wanna change the wording, maybe you wanna make it simpler for your clients, you wanna add your, your company logo up here, uh, you could edit this and you can actually go in and add a company logo. So this is extremely powerful. Again, uh, I am using the enterprise version, so all of these capabilities come in. You'll have the ability to export this as a PDF. You can utilize this pretty much every day, you know, if you're gonna be working with a lot of clients, being able to refresh this. Again, you also have the capability of saving stuff to Dropbox or the SEO PowerSuite Cloud. Um, I've been using this tool now for about a year and a half, two years, and all these different tools that you get with the SEO PowerSuite system are just extremely valuable. A lot of the competing tools out there cost money. You have to pay every single month. And if you decide to go with enterprise, you know, you, you'll get all of these tools and you have like unlimited usage. They do have a uh, monthly subscription where you can get what they call algorithm updates. And there's a couple other positives to that, but it's not required. You can still run these reports, get data, and you can go in and, you know, bas basically get as much as you need without necessarily running the monthly subscription. So it is a tool I highly recommend. And if you're looking to get backlink data and learn a little bit more about it, I do highly suggest checking out SEO Spyglass and the SEO PowerSuite uh, series of tools.